And uh, our last, our last, uh, our, our last speaker for uh, this evening before we get into some legislation is um, one of my, my uh, closest friends, and I know close friends to so many of us here. Uh, Representative Julie Harhart has served the 183rd District of Lehigh and Northampton counties for 22 years. She was elected in 1994 and currently serves as the Majority Chair of the Professional Licensure Committee. Julie also serves on the House Transportation Committee as well as the State Transportation Advisory Committee. She previously served on the Children's Trust Fund, the Consumer Affairs Committee, was Vice Chair of the Children and Youth Committee, and Minority Chair of the Local Government Committee. Julie is a lifelong resident of North Catasauqua, where she resides with her husband, Frank. And uh, Chair Harhart, please come on up to the rostrum and address your good friends. Uh, we're so, uh, we're so going to miss you. And members, I'd ask everybody to please take their seats. I'd ask everybody to please take their seats. Madam Chair. Take your time. Okay. <laughs> huh. hmm. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I feel very fortunate to have had the opportunity over the past 22 years to be a part of bringing about changes that have made the Commonwealth a better place for all of us to live and work. It is with mixed feelings that I say goodbye today. Some are feelings of sadness, as I know I will miss seeing and working with many friends and colleagues from both sides of the aisle that I have grown to know and respect. Even those who call me grandma. Right, Joe? <laughs> but it also, with great an anticipation, but it is with also with great anticipation that I look forward, not to retirement, but to the next stages and the new adventure of my life. As with all of us, serving as a state representative has given me the opportunity to take a stand on issues that are my passion. For me, it has been my commitment to the safety and protection of the children of the Commonwealth. One of the issues that was most important to me and closest to my heart was the more than 10-year effort to fund the child advocacy centers. What a difference these one-stop centers can make for the most vulnerable among us, the children who are victims of abuse. Another was the Safe School Act, enacted to prevent school violence, which ironically was passed on the same day as the horrific Columbine school shootings in Colorado. I also appreciate having had the opportunity to work both here and at home with local governments, organizations, and citizens to make sure necessary and, in some cases, critical services were available and convenient to the citizens of the 183rd Legislative District. One example I am very proud of was the implementation of my senior mobile offices. These mobile offices allowed us to take needed assistance and service to our senior citizens where they resided instead of requiring them to travel to my offices, a task that is difficult or impossible for many of our seniors. Now there are so many people that I would like to thank. A very special thanks to Chair Richa, members of the Professional Licensure Committee, the Professional Licensure Committee staff for their service and support. I am very appreciative of the way we were able to come together in a bipartisan manner to move important legislation to this body for consideration. Also to the Lehigh Valley delegation. Again, 
coming together in a bipartisan manner to do what was best for the citizens of the Lehigh Valley. I would like to thank my family for their support over the years, especially my husband, Frank. He has been there with me campaigning every two years, attending events, driving in parades, almost, and I say almost always, patient with the long hours and unexpected demands this job requires of us. I would also like to thank my staff, both my district staff and my Harrisburg staff. My Harrisburg staff is here, Wayne, who is the executive director, Wayne Crawford, the executive director of my committee, Tricia, who is my writer, and my right hand person, Angie Kelly. Thank you both. Thank you all. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Thank you all. <laughs> and to my district staff people who are, their names are Wendy, Jody, Stephen, and um, Trish. And I'll tell you, um, they take care of the many and varied issues presented to them on a daily basis. To me, they are not only a valued staff, but also valued friends. Now that I know I'm leaving, now I've been thinking more about the things that I have come to take for granted and wish I had taken more time to appreciate. Of course, the beauty of this building, which is a Pennsylvania treasure, and, but a national treasure as well. I also, Tim Hennessy, um, I'm going to miss Tim Hennessy's jokes, not to mention the mass of red poinsettias, which appear shortly after Thanksgiving each year on the third floor. Thank you, Tim. To Dave Millard's happy whistle and song that always brightens up the third floor. Thank you, Dave. To Bill Adolph's rendition of Julie, 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 <laughs> who was sung that to me this morning. Thank you, Bill. My aisle seat on the House floor to leadership, I am forewarning you. I am bequeathing my seat to Representative George Dunbar. <laughs> and my friend Sandy. Sandy has been my sorority sister over the years. She and I came in together and were immediately friends. She has been here with me through, through many uh, exciting and happy times, as well as my support in tough times. Plus, I will miss every one of you, everyone, just so many to mention. And as I leave, I will again become Julie Harhart, private citizen. The titles of representative and chair are titles which will be passed on to my successors. There is one informal title, however, that I will not pass on to my successors. One which will remain with me forever. This title was bestowed upon me by three of my former colleagues, Doug Reichley, Craig Daly, and Dick Stevenson a title many of you may not be aware of. It is the title of Queen of the Lehigh Valley. And yes, Marcia, let it now and forever be on record that my title and my crown are retiring with me. <laughs> and with that, I bid you all farewell. It's been a wonderful, wonderful journey. So till we meet again, I thank you all, and God bless. <laughs> and one last thing. I know you're going to present me with something, but I would like to present this to you, Mr. Speaker. And you may ha either open it now or you may open this in your office. There you go. Well, maybe, maybe you want to bring it to your office. <laughs>
There is a, I'll never forget when Julie first showed me this. We were doing a hearing together. I don't even know what we were talking about, Jules. But I'm looking over at Julie like, what are you talking about? And, and she's basically telling me, I know what I'm talking about. You don't. Uh, um, Julie and, and I and um, so many of our, who you mentioned, uh, our oh. past colleagues who, who we uh, sat with in, in this, uh, the, those back rows, uh, Dick Stevenson, Craig Daly, Doug Reikley, Dave Reed uh, was back there, Tom Stevenson. We, we had uh, Scott Hutchinson, a, a great group. And, and uh, I came here um, in a special election in a year that had many special elections. And, and uh, Julie and, and um, our neighbors back there took me out to, to dinner for the first time to sort of uh, instruct me about the, the state legislature. Julie, everything you said was true, but I didn't understand it at the time. And, and now I get it. It's taken me a lot of years. We all came together. <laughs> Julie, you, you, you've been outstanding as the professional licensure chair. One of our, really one of our most uh, productive and important committees. People talk about uh, just what an outstanding bipartisan job you do with uh, Chairman um, Reed Shaw. And, and also just, uh, I know your first two elections were by less than 100 votes, right, Julie? Correct. I mean, this, uh, this uh, good lady went around her district and got to know everyone and uh, now has served for 22 really illustrious years. Julie, thank you for your service and thank you for your friendship. Thank you. Thank, thank you. I, I didn't have to watch that photo. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have to watch that photo.